good morning as you can just tell i got my patch test done it's actually not done it actually just started so it is a, a four day process uh with three different appointments one today one tomorrow and then one on friday my voice is kind of gone and i think that's just from partying and <laughs> all that fun stuff this weekend uh but i went for a run this morning before it's 10 o'clock right now my appointment was at 9 30 started at 9 30 uh, and i went for a run this morning because you're not allowed to sweat or shower i mean i'm probably gonna do like a sponge bath just like excluding my back because four days is like a long ass time not to shower uh, but I definitely can't sweat and I haven't worked out all weekend because graduations and stuff so I was like I need to like get active before I'm just stagnant for another four days so showered ran showered and yeah now I actually do have quite a bit of work not quite a bit but I have some stuff that I need to do that I want to do that involves just sitting the only thing is this is like way more stiff than I thought it was gonna be so on top of the patches they tape it down uh, so you weren't actually seeing right now like the patches underneath you were just seeing like the tape on top of the patches but the tape just makes my my like back just feel really like I cannot move it uh, and I'm scared to really move it because if I move the tape I'm moving the patches underneath and they were pretty much like if you if one of these comes off we're gonna have to restart the whole process and reschedule and it took like I had to book this appointment like a month in advance or more so I'm like well that's not feasible so pretty much it's critical that I keep these damn patches on and uh you know do what I have to do for that to happen so my car is making I don't know if you can hear that sound it almost sounds like there's a nail in the tire but I've checked like three times now and rotated my tires and looked at them like to see and I can't find anything like on the tire so my baby she's giving out on me <laughs> No, she's not. She's staying strong, right? Okay. I also want to order an air conditioning unit because it's really hot now. And I just want the products in the shed to be safe. And also, I just found out by walking by their room that one of our... So, okay. Backstory. We don't use our heater or air conditioning because our house is just so poorly insulated. The people who lived there initially before were firefighters and they just decided to add like three front doors and every wall is like a window pretty much like you've seen our bedroom it's like the entire thing's a window so heat and air just don't stay well in the house which makes it really really expensive like pg and &E gets really expensive so our house means that we all kind of came to the conclusion like okay we're just gonna deal with like fans and like a space heater for a few minutes in the winter when pot when needed in our rooms well the space heater happened without us even knowing that they were using a space heater and then i was like oh my god they're definitely using space heaters like i could feel it from their rooms so i'm like okay we're gonna get a space heater and then i just realized i was walking to the bathroom the other day and i got like a cold breeze on my ankles and for context it's been like 101 this past weekend and i'm like wow that was a fresh little breeze like what the heck what kind of fan do they have so i stood there like outside of the door their door for a little bit longer and i'm like oh hell no that is most definitely an air conditioning unit or something like that is not a fan and so i'm like fuck it like if they're gonna have ac and run up the bill for all of us then i'm gonna have ac too so i need to look into buying a little air conditioning unit i don't even know what they look like to be honest like i've only ever had a space heater uh, but I think it would be useful. I love um, mixing cereals. And this is a, such a fire combo. Strawberry mini wheats and the churros by... Is it by like the Cinnamon Toast Crunch brand? 
Yeah. I don't know if that's a brand. It's probably like Kellogg's or something, but fire. Hello. I am sipping on another LaCroix. It is Wednesday. Uh, I look really insane. I've just been working on market prep this entire morning since like 7.30 and it's almost 2 p.m. right now. I can't go to the gym. I can't sweat. I can't really do anything. So it works out that I have all this market prep to do. I spent the majority of my morning in the shed curating boxes that I'm going to take to the market, uh, which was really hard. Like that was the whole reason I converted my business into a fully customizable box is because it's difficult to predict what people are going to want to see as a combination of products, right? So I can't really guess preferences that easily. So I tried my best based off of the demographics of Alameda, which is where this first market is. And I put together, how many boxes? One, two, three, four, five different boxes with different products. And I'm just, I think I said this in a previous vlog, gonna let them pick which sticker they want it to have. I fully packed like a ton of boxes and then I'm gonna leave just one of each open and have, you know, the multiples closed uh, behind them. And then not fully sealed, you know, so I can open it and put a sticker whatever sticker they choose inside. But what else I decided to do, which I'm working on right now, is creating a document with all the product descriptions. So ingredients and scents and, you know, each each little thing, where it comes from, the businesses that they come from, so that people can easily read what are in the boxes available for sale. Of course, we have the sticker inside the boxes that you can scan and it'll take you to that blog page that I created, but I wanna have something tangible there for people to read um, about the different products. So that's what I'm working on right now. Then I'm gonna finish the documents that I'm gonna put inside of those like plastic thingies and I need to work on creating gift cards. I think I'm just gonna do so with the cardstock that my mom brought down and uh, what else? Today is just fully dedicated to market prep, honestly. Sipping on obsessing over these LaCroix. Just ice cold. When they're not cold, they're kind of gross, but I feel that way about all sparkling water. When it's not cold, I'm like, tastes kind of weird. But ice cold, especially since it's so hot, amazing. And the other exciting news is that I got a callback. Remember that uh, interview that I had with the marketing firm that I was like, eh, like not feeling confident about? Uh, it, it's based in Las Vegas. They're actually based in SoCal, but they have another office in Vegas. Uh, they called me back for another interview. And this time it's going to be with the human resource rep and the president, like the owner of the company who I guess I'm gonna be working really close with. So I scheduled that for this Friday. I'm so nervous, but I'm not even gonna worry about that yet. I wanna get my market prep pretty much done because tomorrow I have to go back to the doctor. Like this patch test thing requires three doctor's appointments. My brother is coming back. He was doing like research in the mountains. He's coming back and then he leaves for San Diego on Friday. So I wanna kinda of spend some time with him before he goes. Uh, he comes back today, but yeah, so we'll have a but at like in the evening. So Anyway, there's a lot going on on the latter half of the week uh, Even on the weekend and stuff. So I just want to take advantage of today to just Get everything in order. All right, y'all. I'm pretty much done creating this product description list. So uh, I just the way I did it was I curated boxes, right? Um, and the ones that are going to be on display for people to look at have a sticker in each. Of course, when they decide which box of products they want, they can put whatever sticker they want. Uh, but just to, you know, identify each box, I'm going by the sticker that the display box will have, right? So with our original sticker, the display box with the original sticker has these items in it. But I already made a ton of boxes with these items in it and no stickers so that people can put whatever sticker they want. Hopefully that made sense. This is like the key. <laughs> um, so I tried to get a good variety of products. We have a congrats, a thinking of you, a sunny love, a happy birthday, 
I can't like push back on my back because of the patches. I don't want to like slide them around. She told me not to do that. So Diego just suggested that I use this number balloon from the party as a neck press, but it's a lot. <laughs> It's slippery though. Cause you're freezing your hair. Do you mind actually like patting them down? Like again? They're low key so itchy. Taco Tuesday, so we're making tacos, but uh, these are so good. We tried them in like Vegas or something. And then my mom made us onion dip to eat with plain ruffles. It looks kind of sus, but it's so good, trust. Also guacamole. All right, it's Taco Tuesday, you already know. Also, somebody at the party that we hosted brought over LaCroix. And I've been sipping on this Raz Cranberry one, and I low-key like it. Oh, your toe. It was not, I've tried LaCroix before uh, when I was younger and I wasn't a big fan, but as you guys could tell by all the drinks I've been trying lately, I've been really into like sparkling drinks. And I always thought I LaCroix was not one that was I was gonna like because I had tried it before and not liked it, but this one is fire. Oh, so we've just been doing work. Uh, Diego went to the gym. We took up it for a really long bath because he might have a tick. It's like a whole thing. Um, but I wanted to try these. There's a taco and then there's, I think we tried the sushi. We saved the taco. Okay, so the sushi looks like this. I showed you guys in my sushi gummies in my last vlog. I already showed them. You know what it reminds me of? You know those hamburguesas uh, in Spain? The Krabby Patties? Yeah. Dude, I literally said yeah. that in my last vlog. I was like, I love fake like, like food, food gummies. gummies. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god, look at them. Oh, they're so cute. <laughs> this one's like, oh. <laughs> this one's like a whole fit. What is this one? I think this one's supposed to be like, like caviar. Uh, and then this is like, this one's hella yeah. funny though. It's like an entire fish. <laughs> oh my god. Dude, Bro, like this me. one is so easy to fall off. It's because it's two rings stacked. And then this one's like the most realistic almost. It's like that. Okay, which one should we try? It's gonna be hard to take bite. I feel like this one would be easiest. Yeah. Looks like it's like a sour boat with like a marshmallow wrapped. I mean, it's not. Is it a marshmallow? I think so. It's like squishy. Mmm. Oh. oh, that's really fire. <laughs> the sour boat? I could eat like an entire pack of those. Mm hmm. Combo. The marshmallow combo is interesting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's like super sweet with like sour. And also like the texture difference is crazy. Hey, Focusing on would it be sashimi? Sashimi is oh. just the fish. What is it? What is this is like nigiri. Nigiri. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm just eat the whole thing, why don't you? <laughs> okay, the gummy part of that one was crazy. Oh. Oh yeah, that is a pretty like hard gummy. Mm. I like that one together less. Yeah. The gummy is really hard. Mmm. But it tastes so good. Yeah, it's like an orangey gummy. Like orange, mm-hmm. So this one's like two of these green rings. I wonder what it's like supposed to be. I think it's supposed to be like caviar. Yeah, like fish eggs. Cause this one is like, yeah, this one looks like. I really like the in Spain they have like the moras. They're like yeah, 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 red, red and, and purple like, or like almost blackish. like black. Yeah. yeah, those are really good. Wait, wait, I'm gonna give you half. Oh. 
Oh my god, I'm gonna try. Mmm, mm, combo is crazy. I like that one the most. Yeah. Two of the rings of fire. Mm hmm. I'm so excited to get chuches. Mm hmm. In Spain, they have like chucherias, which are like little tiendas, like shops, just with snackies. It's the dream. And they always have like buckets of candy, and you like, I've seen them in the US too, I where you it, fill a bag, yeah. but over there it's way cheaper. Facts. I would like. Be distraught, distraught if it changed to like due to COVID, you know? Mm. Okay. I think it'd be back. Yeah, I know. Yes. We should ask your family though. Remember, yeah, remember when we went to like the the yogurt, uh, like frozen mm -hmm. yogurt? Like, Similar concept, but they put your toppings. But on now, yogurt. instead of like you being able to pick your toppings, like they already came in like little bags. Mm -hmm. And they even had like it's sugar, remember? Like, yeah. They already came like prepackaged mm -hmm. little bags, and like sometimes like I just want like one or two of the candies. Like I don't want a whole bag, you know. No. So. I never want a whole bag. Yeah. Of one type. Just a little mix. All right. So as you know, I was packing boxes earlier today, and so I was really looking through all of the inventory that I have, and I was like, oh, I'm actually running out of a lot of stuff, especially if everything, which n not all of it is probably going to sell at the market. Like I'm trying to keep my expectations low, but as I packed all the boxes that I'm taking to market, I was like, oh my gosh, I don't have that much stuff total anymore. And so I've been thinking about new inventory and I think I'm going to hold off until I move, until I'm out of this place to order any more inventory because... The reality is I'm going to have to move all of that inventory wherever I go and it's just going to make my load like even heavier, right? And I don't want to put products through and move if I can avoid it, right? Um, so that's what I've been thinking lately. But it's hard because, you know, products start dwindling and it's like I want to keep the supply up. But anyway, I just got the sandbag holders in the mail so I need to go find little pebbles or rocks or sand to put inside of them. I think I might go to Ace. There's like an Ace store in downtown Dubis. I feel like that's the place. So Is maybe there any, like a puddle of sand like you know that neighbor that has a cool RV next to the house that I always want to buy? Yeah, but I think that's like a part of their no, like front it's yard. Like on the street. No, I think they might be using it, but like we can like we'll check it out. Yeah, I have to fill like each bag with ten pounds though. Oh, yeah. I mean, you can ask if they need it or not. I just knock on the door and I'm like, "Hey, can I get some of this? Yeah. Do you mind if I collect all the dirt off your front yard?" <laughs> yeah, we'll see. 10 pounds is kind of a lot. I'm gonna have to bring my little scale and figure it out. Oh, that's what I should do right now. I should check what the weather in Alameda is gonna be. See, it's always colder there than here. Oh, they're getting really warm weather next week. Oh, but perfect. This Sunday is gonna be 73 degrees in Alameda. That is like literally so perfect. So before that, it's like 66. And then after that, it's 79. But 73 is like chef's kiss for the products. Because I was worried about them melting and stuff like that. And that's like perfect weather and perfectly sunny. Mm. Mm -hmm. Diego made the dinner. Chicken shawarma bowls. The sauce kind of smells like buffalo wild wing sauce. So I'm excited. Mm. But it was called like chicken shawarma, right? No, it was like a chicken tahini something. Oh, you already know. Oh, it looks so pretty with all the decorations. And the big ass numbers still. <laughs> okay, we are gonna try for dessert. By the way, the bowls were so fire. But we're gonna try these new Reese's, Reese's, Reese's snack cakes. How crazy do these look? Let's look at this playing right there. Okay, they're ready. 
They just look like this. Cheers. Mmm. Giving it, really doing the most to give you that up close. It's like a brownie. It's like peanut butter and brownie. Mm. Do you like it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Never. Me too. Like Reese's are like normally just like chocolate and peanut butter, but like there's like brownie level. Mm. Yeah, the lev the layer of brownie. That's like the cake part, I guess. Mm-hmm. Fire. Mm -hmm. a fan going right now so it's kind of loud let me turn it off hello it is Thursday I got the tape and the little patches off of my back um, but I still wasn't allowed to like wash my back so today in the shower I just like washed everywhere else and avoided the water with my back but tomorrow I have my third and last appointment for this patch test and after that I'll be able to actually like work out and start showering again, like showering my back. Um, so that's good. Much relief without the tape, like I feel like I can, I've regained mobility. <laughs> um, but today I've just been doing more market prep. I printed a couple signs that I'm gonna put in those plastic sign holders and um, I took some more jewelry pictures outside for my other business uh, it's kind of stressing me out to be honest because right now I don't have the funds to like fully launch that business and so I've been kind of like slow moving on it but at the same time I'm like pressed to get it up and running because I already paid for like two years in advance of Shopify for it. So it's just kind of stressful because I know that the months are just like passing and I'm paying pretty much every month and yet I'm not using it and that's like really stressing me out. I don't know why I did that. I think I thought I was gonna start my Shopify a while ago you know for it and then just wasn't able to so for that reason I want to get it moving because I'm like I literally haven't used my Shopify this entire time maybe I should look into if I can get a refund for that I'm gonna look into that because that's like a lot of money that I just spent I do this like I I have this tendency to like get an idea and be like super impatient about it and it ends up costing me a lot of money whereas like if I just took a step back and took things one thing at a time I would realize that like buying you know paying for Shopify monthly before I have anything set up is just not the move but anyway so I'm kind of anxious to get that started but it's like girl you don't got the monies for that yet our bright side the jewelry that I've been testing has been holding up and I really like it so I think I found a good supplier the other thing that I noticed about myself is that I stress out when I have like when I'm not doing anything um, I feel like time the idea that time is money is so deeply embedded in me that I can't relax ever like even though I should be like oh it's summer relax a little bit I know now it's different because I'm not going into another quarter of school after summer. So like I should hypothetically be working. But you would think I would give myself like a couple days after graduation to just relax. And I'm just not that person. Like I'm just constantly like itching to do something and I'm not doing anything. And when I have nothing to do in the moment, it just feels, I just get anxiety. Like I don't 
take that time to relax. And yet, when I'm super busy and working all day, I'm like wishing for these moments. But then when I get these moments, I don't enjoy them. Is anybody, like, is capitalism just like so ingrained in me to the point that I can't like chill? I'm just constantly like, programmed to work because that's so sad. That's literally so awful. And okay, maybe this is like, oh, this probably is gonna sound so bad, but like, confession time. You know, it's gonna be something that I work on, so I'm just gonna say it, fuck it. I feel like there's like this, I get like this desire to like drink or smoke on the weekends. And I feel like the reason is because then I can really let go of work. Like then I'm really not thinking about work when I'm like slightly intoxicated. And I know that other people feel that way. I know I can't be the only one. That like when you really are like having fun and stuff or like trying to take a break, you go for like a drink or something. It's not that I'm constantly craving alcohol. It's just what I think of when I think of relaxing. And I think it's because it's like, it lets me just like not think about work. Cause when I'm just sitting here trying to chill, I'm still thinking about work. Maybe I should take up like meditation or something. Should I try to meditate right now? The time that I'm not thinking about work is when I'm in the gym. And the gym is just like my time to just not be thinking about anything except for working out, which I guess is work in a different way. But it makes me feel good, you know, like I feel strong and stuff like that after. So I don't know, I don't consider it work, but I haven't been working out because of this freaking patch test. So I think it's just like all day from the moment I wake up to the moment I go to sleep. I'm just like, I should be doing something. I should be working right now. All right, on that note, I'm gonna edit the photos for this jewelry site. <laughs> We're at the park with Gape. But we, there's this apricot tree. Look how many Diego already picked. Um, I was taking product photos, but we're gonna try to reach these ones that are really high up. Oh, right here. It's just kind of like loping the chair. Oh, no. Yeah. Come here. Come here. No. Bro, she got a seed in it. Come here. Chill. Oh, my God. Come here. <laughs> come here. No. It's okay. My old dog used to eat them and then throw up the pits. Oh, he just chewed it. <laughs> he just saw it. He's going to have to. ate some. We used to have a dog who would eat apricot plums, actually, plums off of our tree and then yak up the seed. He's just gonna have to yak up the seed. He's gonna shit it out, man. Or he'll shit it out. That's even better. Hey! Okay, should we go? <laughs> Look how many we got, though! Oh my goodness. I'm gonna try one of these from like way up. I've been eating them. Actually, I think I ate the first one on the vlog. Mmm. What? This was one from far up there. Yeah, so Mmm. Hello. It is actually like two weeks after, or like a week after I filmed this. Um that's not doing me any favors i look like literal shit right now and i feel like literal shit right now i look like a bitch out of handmaid's tale if you know that show and honestly i feel like that show was coming to life with the new um overturning of roe versus wade like what the fuck is actually going on and yesterday with the guns like i it's things are not okay shit is not okay right now um i'm 
sympathizing with everybody who is affected by this. I feel so grateful and privileged to be living in California where rights are still protected by the states here, by the state here. Um, I was just reading that our governor made uh, California look like a safe haven for anybody that wants to use the services from other states. They, you know, can do so here, I guess. I, I'm just like at a loss of words, to be honest. Um, it's violence against women is what it is. And it's discrimination and it's really awful. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this vlog. And there will be another one very soon. I literally just have to edit it. It's all done because I got so much footage from the market that I was discussing in this video. And so that's all ready. I just have to edit it and put it up. Um, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.